An update this ambitious doesn't show up quietly. It sneaks into early test builds, sparks leaks across developer forums, and suddenly hints at a software jump that feels way bigger than a mid-cycle refresh. One UI 8.5 is shaping into that kind of upgrade, a version that doesn't wait for permission to shake things up. Welcome back viewers, Sam here. Like, share, and subscribe for more. Samsung's next software chapter has been bubbling behind the scenes for months, and now it's finally reaching a point where even unfinished builds are telling a surprisingly bold story. Testers running the internal build on the S25 Ultra have already uncovered major interface changes, early Galaxy AI improvements, and a handful of controversial tweaks that Samsung might refine before the public gets a taste. But here's where it gets interesting. This update isn't even scheduled for an official release until early 2026, yet it looks more polished than some previous betas. That alone hints at something much bigger brewing inside Samsung's software labs. The first thing people noticed was the shift in visual design. One UI 8.5 quietly introduces a new layer of polish across the entire system with glossy 3D icons, smoother animations, and floating menus that appear lighter and more modern. Search bars shrink slightly, headers get softer edges, and many apps now adopt a glass-like finish that reacts more subtly to background colors. It almost feels like a mix of Samsung's identity and the premium shine of recent iOS releases, but not in a copy-paste way. More like Samsung has finally decided to embrace a cleaner, more futuristic aesthetic that matches its high-end hardware, then there's the quick panel, and honestly, this is where Samsung went wild. The entire thing is now customizable at a level we haven't seen before. Brightness and volume sliders can be rotated horizontally or vertically, tiles can be resized, layouts can be compressed almost down to nothing, and elements can be dragged anywhere. Some users will love this level of freedom. Others might feel overwhelmed, but there's no denying it adds a new layer of control that power users will appreciate. And yes, the new panel animations are as smooth as the leaks suggest. Samsung's core apps are also getting attention. Gallery now displays a live preview of your latest photo or video right in the header, instantly making it feel more personal. Buttons are chunkier and easier to reach, while the glass-like theme blends into backgrounds more elegantly. My Files gets a new bottom search bar and a redesigned storage page that highlights recent files with cleaner icons. Settings has rounder borders, improved spacing, and a relocated search bar at the bottom, which feels odd at first but quickly becomes intuitive. And hidden inside the software update menu, Samsung's new splash screen Easter egg pops up when you check for updates, showing the One UI version in a playful animation dot, but the camera app might be the most underrated improvement so far. Instead of a full redesign, Samsung went for something smarter, reorganizing controls, HDR toggles, log recording, dual camera mode, audio format options, improved motion photo settings, and watermark customizations are easier to find now. Recording options finally feel like they belong to a modern flagship. It's the kind of change that makes sense instantly and makes you wonder why it wasn't reorganized years ago. Now here's where things start to get spicy. One UI 8.5 quietly removes text labels under navigation icons in some apps like phone and gallery. Some users love the clean look. Others think Samsung is chasing minimalism just for the aesthetic. Whether this sticks in the final build remains to be seen. But early feedback has been loud, especially from users who rely on labels for accessibility, of course. It wouldn't be a Samsung update without AI upgrades. Galaxy AI in One UI 8.5 gets smarter prioritization for notifications, placing important alerts at the top with a glowing highlight. More AI-powered features like meeting assistants and FC tap to share. And product review generation haven't appeared in early builds yet. But code strings hint that Samsung is preparing them for later testing stages. One particularly interesting addition is Network Battery Saver, a feature that uses on-device intelligence to detect when your phone isn't being used. Like when you're asleep and temporarily limits network activity to save power. Instead of guessing based on schedules, the phone learns your habits and fine-tunes itself automatically.
Now let's move to the release timeline, and this is where Samsung might surprise everyone again. Industry sources suggest Samsung is preparing to open the One UI 8.5 public beta sooner than expected. If things stay on track, the program could begin near the end of November, and while initially rumored for the 24th, internal adjustments might push it slightly, but still within a similar window. That's unusually early for a mid-cycle update. Historically, Samsung saves large beta programs for major version jumps, not 0.5 releases. This shift tells us something important. One UI 8.5 is bigger than just a visual update. It includes deeper changes tied to Android 16 QPR2, giving Samsung enough reasons to test it widely. As usual, the beta won't be global. Sprinting ahead first will be the latest flagships, the Galaxy S25 lineup, followed by the Z Fold 7 and Flip 7. Beta availability will likely remain restricted to core regions like the US, India, Germany, and South Korea. Users in those regions will be able to join through the Samsung Members app. And judging by past betas, spots may fill quickly. Once testing begins, expect several weekly beta patches, polishing animations, refining layouts, and adding missing features. Samsung's internal build for One UI 8.5 was recently identified as CK7, while the public beta should arrive under the ZIX series. If Samsung continues this accelerated schedule, the stable release should land right alongside the Galaxy S26 series at the next unpacked event rumored for February 25th, 2026. After that, the wider rollout will begin in March as a staged release. Newer models will get it first, while older supported devices, basically anything already running One UI 8, should receive it shortly after. Many users will get it within a week, though some regions may take longer, even though One UI 8.5 isn't overflowing with brand new features yet. The design overhaul is one of Samsung's biggest mid-cycle updates in years. The glass UI elements, floating components, Quick panel freedom and refined interactions make the whole system feel more premium. And this is only the early build. By the time the stable version arrives next year, Samsung will have added far more polish and likely a few surprises. So that's the full deep dive into One UI 8.5. The look, the feel, the timeline, the testing details, and the hidden features already buried in the code. If leaks keep coming at this pace, the next few months are going to get exciting. Thanks for sticking around. Hit like, drop a comment, and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next big update.